beginning of the campaign phase and the deployments are down. Um, the Russians added Kutuzov down in the south to commence the invasion of Austria. And the Prussians showed up over here in East Prussia and more is in there to command them. Uh, had to leave uh, Braunschweig off the map because with his two movement and his six command rating, he'd be in command of the army and not very helpful. So took a slight strength loss in order to have a better commander in charge with more. The Allies grabbed the initiative and defeated Napoleon. Um, even though Napoleon played the Art of War card, the Allies uh, played the Fog of War to get around it and then recovered their own forces. Napoleon's gathered his troops, but this creates an interesting stalemate. Um, everybody's got good movement. Napoleon is uh, fatigued, so his movement's only three. The uh, Russian and British leaders are also threes, and Bagration's a four. What this means is that no one can actually attack anyone else, with the exception of... Uh, I could bring some French forward to attack the uh, Saxons. But, and I mean, the Russians could make an attack in the mountains against either Lene or, or Van Damme. Uh, conceivably, actually, Lene is too fast, except for, for Bagration. So anyway, what ends up happening is anybody could withdraw from combat. And I started thinking about this. And, you know, if Napoleon ran up and chased and went for more, more could start chasing in circles. Uh, same thing with Bagration and Kutuzov. So, it doesn't really look like there's an easy way to force the enemy to fight if you have superiority. The Allies finessed that, though, moving Kutuzov into Napoleon's stack because they used the Force March card to increase Kutuzov up to a 4, which Napoleon can't retreat from. So, f following that battle, both sides used a Napoleonic card to pull the exact cards they had before, the Art of War and the Fog of War. So we're going to have the same situation where they go straight up. Uh, the Russians are at a slight disadvantage, but they're looking at causing a, an attrition war here. The French win the battle, driving uh, Kutuzov back, and now Napoleon's able to recover his troops. It's more or less what I expected in the battle. Nobody had any exciting cards to play. The Allies didn't really see any point other than they needed to fight the French here. Napoleon went on the offensive and drove the Russians back into Volhynia. That forward. Uh, the Russians did use the Grand Battery to try to increase their chances. That did not work. Uh, there's our losses. We've got two permanent Russians. I have to pick in one. Well, Lefebvre is dead. Um... I guess I'll take Kutuzov as a permanent loss, which I don't like doing. With winter approaching, both sides covered vulnerable capitals, Napoleon moving uh, to Vienna and more moving to... So the 1812 diplomacy phase, uh, Prussia backs out of the war. Talleyrand card. This leaves uh, France in a position where they can try to pursue the uh, the minor victory if they can knock Russia out of the war. It's late enough in the game, after 1811, that they're actually able to do this. Now, knocking Russia out of the war might be tricky, though, um, because it is... Uh, no, they just have to take Moscow and, and defeat the army. So, yeah, they can actually do it. Um, we'll see. The French picked up the Savary card. Um, because I'm playing solitaire the way I am, I'm going to force the uh, coalition player to play all, with all their cards face up for the turn. That wouldn't be how it would go in uh, a real game, but my memory is purposefully dampened in these. After the first combat round, Napoleon prepares himself for the invasion of Russia. Wellington moves his forces into place in order to help defend. They've just got to make it through one turn if it happens before a, a fairly large Russian army appears due to the invasion. Uh, there are no new Russian units. The only thing I was able to pull up was Charles John of Sweden. Um, 
possibilities of an invasion in Italy or something like that are still there, but right now making Russia survive is the big issue. The result of the battle was a complete annihilation of the coalition forces and Napoleon spent a card to recover. Uh, we've got these guys, we're going to kill, I guess, Moore and Bennigsen for permanence. And we'll move uh, Wellington. Oh, these guys are back. Mm, sorry about that. Um, okay, so those are our current casualties. And in terms of cards, what did we see? Uh, French committed the guard and played their grand artillery battery. British used the reverse slope card, and uh, they also played a hero's death to finish Davu off, but it's probably not going to matter. It's probably game over here, unless the French want to continue for a major victory. They've actually got a reason to think about it, but we'll see. The Brits played the uh, mud card in order to prevent Lenay from making it all the way to Moscow. This was to be expected. Uh, the French knew it was there. The Brits are taking one last stab to stop the, uh, uh, the minor victory. They're sailing into Holland with the Swedes. So here it is, the end of 1812. Uh, Lenay is still up there in Moscow. Messina re reinforced and they were able to drive the Swedes off. There were losses, two losses in Napoleon's redeployments. One of both decent leaders, Grouchy, uh, and McDonald fell uh, due to attrition. And that's permanent losses because it was winter attrition. Again, big stab for the end of the game. At this point, the French are saying, we win. <laughs> Minor victory, man. No take backs. Um, I am going to finish it up, though, as though they didn't. But I'm counting this as a French victory at this point.